Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well. Thank you for watching this clip on Integrate, this messy trig functions here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to use variable substitution, make it look a little more pleasant. Actually, then we have, actually, we're going to leave the sign x there. Du is equal to cosine x dx. That conveniently replaces the numerator here. So we have a du on top, and then we have 1 plus 3 u squared. Okay, now this one is in the form of 1 over 1 plus z squared dz, which is equal to tangent inverse of z. Now, the thing we do have to trick the system a little bit is this 1 plus radical 3 of u, the whole thing squared, because this requires 1 plus something squared. So we've got to squeeze our 3 back into the radical 3. Okay, now once we do that, you can make another substitution. I'll show you a quicker way if you don't know this way, that's fun, and this is radical 3 du. Okay. So in order to have the du, we have dz over radical 3. Okay, so let's substitute it back in there. dz here divided by radical 3, and then on the bottom we have 1 plus z squared. Okay, one more step, 1 over radical 3, tangent inverse of z, well, what's z? It's radical 3 of u. This is z. And what's u? Let's put a u back in there, and that was a sine of x, and then plus a constant. Okay. I will, in later on, prove this is one of the weirdest proof ever. The first time I saw the proof that 1 over 1 plus z squared dz integrated is equal to tangent to inverse. I literally said, that's just not fair, right in the classroom. Made everyone else laugh, but hey, you gotta say what you gotta say. All right, so here's the final answer. Some teacher, a little bit pickier, and you might want to just follow the math adequacy and rationalize it to be on the safe side. All right, so here's our final answer. All right, I have a funny picture to show you guys. Hopefully I didn't confuse anyone here. Look at that cat. Hopefully I didn't confuse you as this cat looks like confused. All right, back to math. So here's our final answer. Our radical 3 over 3 tangent the inverse of radical 3 sine x plus c. All right, that's how we handle this integral. Once again from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun, at least trying to make it fun. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a thumb up or a comment. Until next time, have a confident day.